What's up, beer friends? Welcome back to another episode of Beer Day Tour. Thank you guys for joining me on yet another episode. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys had a nice weekend, nice uh, Easter weekend. Over here in the state of Washington, I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's been bad. The weather's been bad. We could use a lot more sun. Anytime now, it's supposed to be spring, but uh, we're getting snow in April. Um, high winds, snow, sleet, rain, everything but the sun. So we could use a little bit more sun, to be honest with you guys. But had a nice weekend. Um, of course, it's always a good time around family and friends. And I hope you guys had a nice weekend as well. For today's episode, this is going to be a little bit of a different theme than Easter. We're moving a little bit forward uh, with this week's theme. It's actually already passed by now, but something that's a date and a time that is pretty famous. And if you guys know what I'm referring to, if you don't know actually what I'm referring to, you're probably a little too young to be watching this episode. But uh, for the rest of you, 420 has come and gone, but you're probably celebrating this weekend too. So for today, we're going along with that theme. Uh, let's do this, guys. All right, beer friends. So this is Elysian's Dank Dust IPA. Now, if you're not familiar with Elysian, they're a little brewery company here in the state of Washington, I believe from Seattle. I've done a couple reviews from them in the past. Always been good. Always been on point. This one here, Dank Dust IPA, has an ABV, or I'll call by volume, of 8.2%. An IBU score on this bad boy is a 73. Some tasty notes here for you guys. Dank Dust oscillates with aromas of lush grapefruit mango, and orange, backed by an extra herbal kick for added freshness. The sweet hop flavor and low bitterness nods to the classic space dust we all know and love turned up a notch. This immediately caught my eye. It looks very 420 friendly. Um, I have tried space dust in the past. Space dust, if you guys are not familiar, is one of Valencia's uh, premier brewskis. Uh, they're famous for their space dust. It's a really good, very uh, kick you in the back of the throat. Strong IPA, my friends. Strong IPA. This one here, we'll see. 8.2. That's pretty strong. <laughs> I can't wait to crack one of these opens and see what it looks like, what it tastes like, and then we're going to give it that beer detour score. So we just went ahead and poured out Elysian's Dank Dust IPA. Don't don't mind the smoke, guys. Um, there's a there's a forest fire out here, and some of the fumes are getting in here. Anyways, this is Elysian's Dank Dust IPA. We just went ahead and poured it out. Uh, let's get some aroma going here, guys. Ooh, this smells like weed. Wow, it, it definitely smells like some dank weed. Now, how do I know what weed smells like? Um, good question. I had to do research. And I had to do research, so I had to get that aroma so I kind of would know what to base it off. But the very, um, very floral, uh, very skunky sort of aroma. Skunky, floral, but earthy. Um, definitely picking up some grapefruit, citrus, lemony, uh, but very skunky, almost exactly like some weed. Wow, that's crazy how they can do that. They can encompass that dank aroma. But will it have that dank taste? Well, let's go ahead and give this a taste test. Cheers, everybody. Perfect. Wow. I like it. It does have a very overwhelming skunky taste. Um, and a very, very lemony orange, I would say a citrus, citrus beginning. It definitely very dank, citrusy, not too bitter. 
I thought it was going to be a lot more bitter and a lot more hop heavy, but I think that citrusy kind of vibe to it really overtakes you and it's going to be the prominent thing that you taste. So it's not bitter in my opinion, but it is very fruity and floral. I would say more floral than fruity. It's not a hazy, okay? It's definitely not a hazy. Um, it does have some bitterness notes there. I would say it's more earthy, floral, um, pungent would probably be a good word, pungent. But I can definitely get the dank uh, aroma to it. What were we talking about? Oh, yes. So um, let me give this another taste, guys. It has a very herbal freshness to it, floral freshness to it. Um, I would say I probably wouldn't recommend this to family members that have not, friends and family that have not tried a sort of a hearty and bitter IPA. I would say this is more for people that have tried a couple of different IPAs, so it's definitely not for the beginner, uh, but definitely for the beer connoisseur. It's something that you really have to try out. It's pretty crazy. It's a mashup of this floral, um, heavy floral and pungentness that you get, bitterness of it. Um, but it has that very smooth sort of citrus, lemony uh, vibe to it, right? This is an oddity though, I think. Um, I'm not sure if the Ifflation makes this um, year round, but um, it's very crazy that I found this right around 420. So I'm not sure if this is available where you guys are. You might want to check it out. I actually found this snuck in the back. It was stashed in the back like somebody was saving it. So sorry to whoever was trying to save this. I got the last one and I'm glad I did. It's it's something I've never tried before. A dank tasting and, and scent, dank aroma. I've never tasted a dank aroma that's very uh, weed centric. Smells like weed. Doesn't taste like weed. Uh, but it tastes like a nice IPA. Let's go over and give this a beer detour score now, guys. Hey, guys. Um, so we just poured out the Legion's Dank Dust IPA. It doesn't have any dank to it, but... It definitely gives you a nice um, earthy, bitterness, citrusy, floral, pungentness to it, dankness to it. Um, again, not for the beginner, uh, but definitely for somebody that likes IPAs and like niche IPAs like this one, I would say give this a shot. I didn't talk about what it looks like. <laughs> very minimal head, uh, dissipated very, very quickly. Um, not see-through, uh, it has a little bit of a haziness to it, but not like a, uh, hazy IPA, it's, it's a little bit more clear than that, a little bit more crisp, almost like a Pilsner type, um, color to it, a very golden, uh, very yellow, um, very nice. So, in regards to a Beardy Tour score, I'm gonna give Elysian's Danktus IPA a 7.6. Now, that's not a high score for me. Um, and it's definitely not a low score. It's right in the middle. It's something that you would pick up just almost as like a, as something that you'd want to show off to some friends. Like, Hey, check this out. Smell it. It smells like weed. Definitely to be enjoyed around 420, but also just in the summertime, I could see, uh, because they're very clear. Uh, they're not heavy, right? They're very clear, very nice for the summer or springtime. Uh, but definitely appropriately named dank dust. Definitely smell like weed. Again, they smell like weed. This is, I've never smelled the beer that smells like weed. This one smells like weed. As soon as I opened and poured it out, I got that weed aroma. So I could see somebody uh, just as, a, just as a, a gaff or a goof or, you know, wanting to show something different. This is different. Dank Dust IPA from Malaysian. Very, very good. Give him a shot, guys. All right. So. I do appreciate you guys tuning into this week's episode. I appreciate you guys every, every week. So much planned for 2022. Please make sure you help me out by subscribing to the channel. You want to make sure you turn on that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time a video drops. Hit a like, hit a comment, share this, guys. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on the gram. I have so much planned. 
so much planned for 2022. Uh, I want to take a lot more vlogs, head to the breweries. So once that um, that sun comes up here in the state of Washington, which should be soon, fingers crossed, uh, we're going to do a lot more vlogs, going out to the breweries, going to the fields. I have so much planned, so much to do. Check out my um, merch store for this month of April. Feel good, do good merch on there, if I say so myself. It's pretty cool. That's where I got this one from, guys. It has a very little tight square pocket beardy tour here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then in the back, it has a little quilt, I like to say, when I'm drinking a brewski on a nice hot summer day. If you guys can't see that, I'll put yeah, some photos on the screen. Uh, so make sure you check out the merch. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And make sure you share it with your friends. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys next time. See you, guys.